Hello and welcome to this Assembly Basics tutorial. In this episode, we're going to be looking at bipeds, how to spawn them, and also how to play as them. Now, it's important to note that I've covered a lot of the basics already in my tutorial series, so some of the things I'm not going to be looking at very specifically, I'm going to assume that you've already seen those videos. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is extract a tag from whatever map you want to use. I've already done this. And then you need to open up the map that you want to use that does not have the tag yet. Once you're there, go ahead and port and whatever uh, model that you're looking at. Uh, in this case, if we're looking for the Marine, then we can import that here. Uh, and we can go ahead and wreck Havoc now that we have those tags injected. So let's go ahead and open up the biped tag for the Marine. And if we want to use this in a multiplayer setting, then we need to change the multiplayer object properties to one. And we're going to go ahead and save, or sorry, uh, we're going to go ahead and poke that change. Uh, additionally, once we're here, we need to basically spawn this biped in. But how do we do that? Well, there are a multitude of ways to do anything in assembly. For instance, we could assign this as a child object to a vehicle. Uh, we could change the initial projectile of a weapon. Uh, we can even place this in the Forge menu. So I'll just go ahead and uh, open up the Warthog HLMT tag, and I'm just going to change the child object. For me, it's that's pretty much one of the easiest ones to do. So that's what I'm going to do with the Forge menu. Uh, you might have to, uh, well, you, you are going to have to uh, make a new space for it. And it can be a pretty lengthy process if you want everything to be uh, pretty. So I'm going to change the chain gun on the Warthog to the actual biped tag for the Marine. And now this ring should load in just fine on the Warthog. And there you go. So now let's look at how do we play as this biped. Really easy to do. First thing you need to do is open up Mat G or Globals. And there's a problem that comes about if you don't do this next step. So Let's just say that we were to change our third person model under third person unit from Spartans to Marine. Very simple change. What's the problem? The problem is we have player customization uh, in the game. So if you have you know, a piece of armor or something, then that can interfere with a model loading properly. Um, and so how do, how do we disable that? Well, pretty simple. Just type in player customization. Globals should come up and just null it out. You're going to poke, and uh, we're then going to go to player representation. And now we can change this to a marine jackal grunt. I'm just going to change it to a grunt. And so now um, I need to be in third person in order to see this change. You can see that I've kept the hands and I've kept the uh, body the same. I'm not changing that yet. But there's also something else we have to look at. See, when you change a biped to be a model that you're playing as, uh, or an AI is playing as, then that uh, entity will inherit the properties of the biped. So for example, if I want to play as a Marine or a Jackal or a Grunt, well, those objects do not have shields. It's like a Spartan does. So we need to give uh, them shields, A, or B, disable that annoying sound that will occur if we uh, do not give them shields. So let's go ahead and uh, go to sound and we need to be looking for shield deplete loop. I think I think that's the name. Shield depleted deplete loop. Yep. And what you can do here is basically uh, whatever sound class you want to use, look for something that's not as annoying a or just disable it by selecting a uh, range index that is not in use, so it might be a random number, it might be zero. Play around. I have sound disabled, so I'm not going to go down that road here. So once you've done that, let's go ahead and uh, change our person to the Marine. 
or of a grunt in this case, and uh, go ahead and poke that change. If we go in, we'll see that we have not changed. You can look at the shadow to see, and we have not changed. So I'm going to go ahead and kill myself here. And now I'm going to uh, make the assault rifle third person. Now keep in mind, you can also make equipment pieces uh, a third person property as well by typing in the same thing and going to basically the same flag set and checking the flag that says third person camera. So now when I spawn in, guess what? I'm a grunt and I don't have any shields because they're not charging. Like I said, you inherit the properties of the biped you're using. So we can give a grunt shields, we can take away the HUD uh, where it says warning. Uh, there are multiple ways to solve this problem, but do so as you wish. So that wraps up this assembly tutorial. For now, this is all I will be discussing about bipeds and NPCs, as it's kind of hard to make a dynamic AI in a multiplayer or forge game. Though, if you found this video was useful to you, uh, then consider liking or sharing it to someone that might find it useful as well. As always, thanks again for watching.